Hi, gorgeous people. Welcome back. Welcome back. You're with Amira and this is Psychic Readings Live. We are going to be doing some super chat questions, pre-orders, as well as a general read at some time in the readings here or between the readings time stamp. And I'd just like to welcome you all in. Welcome, welcome. How's your weekend going? What's going on, everybody? How's everything going? Let's just have a look and see. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, get girl. Say hi on arrival. Do a like on arrival. Put a shout out where you're from. Put your astro sign. Have you ever been in a at a party and noticed the Scorpios? We're going into Scorpio season. So you might want to get a little bit of a heads up about Scorpio season. Scorpios, Scorpios are usually the ones that are kind of like you know, hanging in the corner of a room and kind of observing observing everybody from a distance and checking everybody out. When you start talking to a Scorpio, they're usually very intense and they can be very swarthy or darker in appearance, especially if they've got Scorpio rising. Men who have Scorpio rising are usually a little bit sh not extremely tall, not short either, can be kind of middle height and have a darker type of appearance, a swarthy, dark, darker appearance, same goes to females, and uh, very sensual or sexual or very intense looking. And they're often interested very much in the metaphysical arts, the esoteric arts. And we're coming into Scorpio season, guys, so I hope you're all doing well with this Scorpio ride. I kind of feel like things are shifting and changing and moving and, you know, there's quite a lot of things going on and happening. So kind of feel like things are going to go a little bit better moving forward than they have been in recent times. So let's just see how everything goes. Hi, everybody. Thanks for likes on arrival. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to do a couple of pre-order super chats to start with. Then we'll go into the questions for your particular, your particular super chats. And then we will... Hi, Gate Girl. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Do you work at the airport being on the gate <laughs> or is that something else? Okay. All right, let's have a look and see mm -hmm. what we've got first up. We have first up Lorene. I'm just going to do a double check for Lorene. Okay. Where is the money for Lorene? Okay. Let's just tune into that and just see what's going on, what direction to go in. I think I, I actually picked up for you recently that you could actually get a post remotely I, I know you're studying nursing but there's quite a few really good international nursing types of roles like no, being a private nurse on a boat on a ship uh, being you know a nurse in a really good hospital I mean nurses are very highly paid in the United States so you might actually want to do that or go into that I kind of feel like you're going to get money through property and real estate, actually, and also working up through the career. Property and real estate, I'm picking up New Jersey for you. I feel like you might actually end up moving into a house there in New Jersey or buying land or property in New Jersey. Even if you're living in New York, it could be very close to the border of where you're living or it could be very close to, you know, um, New York, part of New Jersey, inside New you know, close to the border of New York or you might actually end up moving to New Jersey if you feel like it's going to be better for you or more lucrative for you. So let's just see if we get any other ideas or inspirations for you, Lorene. You're not going to have a problem about money. You might tend to worry about it, but I don't feel like you're going to have a problem with it. You could also marry uh, quite affluently as well and uh, have some sort of pregnancy too. So just be careful not to get pregnant at the moment. I feel like you could actually find yourself a nice husband as well. Let's have a look for Lorene moving forward. 
Yeah. So somebody who matches your energy, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, you don't know this person yet. I feel like they're different. Um, you know, somebody different to what you would normally go for. And you will end up having a lot of abundance and success moving forward. I do feel it's property real estate. You might even like to eventually move into the countryside or be in the countryside somewhere, live in the countryside, be in the countryside. I'm sort of seeing upstate New York or, or areas that are easier to, you know, easy to get to the city, but they're around lakes and, and woods and nice areas. And that doesn't mean that you're not going to go somewhere else. I think I did a relocated reading for you somewhere else, like if you've got a better chart, for example, on the West Coast or Washington State or something like that, you might end up going there and uh, doing like a post-grad or something after you finish doing this particular course, start afresh, start anew, go where the luck is, go where the lucky money is, go where the lucky vibes are. And go where you, you're loved the most is what I'm feeling for you as well. Go where you love the most. You've got a lot of heartbreak and tears around your birthplace, so that can also influence where you live and the energy around it. So it could be that you might like to sort of step out of that and go somewhere else. Yeah, but I feel like you're going to get a lot of opportunities, so don't worry about that. Just keep going. Yeah, just keep going, Lorraine. Lots of love to you. All right. Next pre-ordered super chat we have is is um, I won't mention your real name. The lady that has connections in Jamaica. Okay. I think you told me what your pseudoname is okay looking at love relationship you're tired of quote friends and none of them wanting to commit please help clarification you'd like love Love partner, how, when, where are you going to get this love partner into your life? I would just keep an eye also on the on the real estate agent who's selling your mother's house just to make sure that they're doing the right thing. Get them to, you know, give you updates and screenings and, and video reports of what's going on. how many people are going through, et cetera, because it's kind of out of your hands. And I'm not really sure there's anyone there that she can trust. I sort of see this place, if it doesn't sell, that you're going to use it as an Airbnb and kind of renovate it and maybe uh, do quite well with that or renovate it and sell it. I'm kind of seeing it painted or painted a different colour, painted a light blue colour, something, something like that, light blue and white. So I'm not sure how that resonates. When is that going to happen? There might be an auntie who might just pop by and sort of check things. Okay. Things kind of up in the air hanging. Just be careful. Yeah, just be careful that this person isn't kind of like sleeping there or using it as their, you know, as, as somewhere to stay or for their children to stay or trying to leverage, you know, time out of this property for accommodation or something like that. I just don't trust them 100%. Okay, possible sale in seven weeks, seven days, seven weeks or maximum seven months. Hopefully it's not seven months or a four month out. So it could actually sell in January. Wait there, where are we now? October, November, December, yeah. January, February. Looks like a good time to sell. Wish is coming true. And I feel like you will get actually the right, the, the price that you're wanting for it. I feel like you're going to get abundance and prosperity 
Yeah, and it might enable you to kind of put a deposit on something else for yourself in the United States or purchase something in the United States that's going to help you. Okay, now what's going to happen with your love relationships? You feel like you're a bit stressed out. Let's ask the Love Oracle. These cards are available on Amazon worldwide. They are on sale right now. Amira's Love Oracle cards as well as the Coffee Cup Oracle as well in different languages. Okay, so let's have a look. Love Life for CL. I'm getting the word Christian, so I feel like you could meet this person at church, at a Christian gathering, at a funeral, a wedding. Your mother might actually want to go to church. This person could also be very Christian. Okay, so open relationship. This is what you're trying to get away from, taking back your power and control in a situation, career. And if it's not Christian, church, it, then it's going to be uh, maybe the name Christian or Chris. I'm also getting Baptist around this person too, so I don't know if they're Baptist. Or being baptised even. That's an unusual message. Your mother's actually quite good at sort of identifying these people and checking them out for you. <laughs> uh, she's also going to encourage you with your career. You're going to be finding maybe somebody through your career as well who could be Christian or you could have common values or, or something of that nature, having... Maybe the name in common, the name Chris or B, C or B, or having common values, similar values. Lightish for their cultural background. I feel like you don't have to look for this person. They'll come in by chance and destiny. While you're least, what you're least expecting, you've got big work energy around this person. So either you, they work a lot or you're going to meet them through their work or your work. All right, CL, so I hope that works out for you. Uh, I don't feel like your mother's going to get in the way of anything. I feel like you're going to work it all out. Somehow you're going to work everything out nicely. All right, okay, so let's get back to the live stream super chats and people in the live. How is everybody? Hi, Flower Power, welcome back. Hi, Kaya K. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Felice, Felicia. Welcome back, my dear. Uh, thanks for the six ninety nine Kaya and the nineteen ninety nine Flower Power. Hi, Michi. How are you, my dear? Greetings from Virginia. Thanks, Kaya. Most welcome. Okay, wishing you a beautiful autumn season as well. Ask if you'd like to get a job in the next one to six weeks. So you've got probably a, have you got unemployment insurance? I'm not sure if they have that in Canada or unemployment benefits or something for people who lose their jobs. Sometimes losing a job is actually a gateway to having luck. So there's always a reason why something comes to an end and it's usually to create a door for a new opening when one door closes and other opens. So let's have a look for you, Kaya. Timeline. Let's do a timeline, one to six weeks. Something's brewing. I feel I'm seeing like a cauldron and something's brewing. You might even be doing some sort of magic, magical attraction spells, brewing something, concocting something. It could be around Halloween actually because it's sort of like a witchy, cauldrony type of look, but it doesn't feel like it's heavy. It feels like it's kind of comical. So it could be around Halloween. When's Halloween? The end of this month, isn't it? October 31st. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Hire, new job offer, 
You could also go into the esoteric arts for some reason as well. Okay, devil. Something's holding you back from really ex going for what you want. Endings and completions around you, which is a good thing. Standing on your own two feet, being more independent and working more independently, doing something you're more passionate about. The death card, yes, is in the past, so that's endings, finishing off something. All over, Red Rover is what I'm getting. A man coming forward, he could also help you. Power couple is also what I'm getting here. Queen and King of Rods, whether it's in a working relationship or a committed partnership. You feel like you need a bit of time to rest and recuperate and kind of uh, tune into uh, what, it, what it is that you want. There could be some legal action around you. You might actually get some legal compensation for being dismissed or unfairly dismissed or something of that nature. I'm not sure. Or there's a contract coming in around you sooner than later. I kind of feel like it's maybe eight days. Maybe eight days. Something new. You kind of need some time out just to kind of reflect on what it is that you truly want. You will be very happy with your decision and the, the outcome. There is an, a very fruitful and positive outcome decision which will help you turn your back on the past and move forward. So you've got the, the Queen of Cups, the, the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So moving on from something in a very kind of positive and fulfilling way A lot of men around you, I don't know if you're working in a man's industry or there's a lot of men that will be on the job or men who are competing for your particular position or future position. There are There is quite a lot of money in this as well, competition, money. I do feel like you've got the upper hand for whatever reason and it could be because some of these people are not Canadians. I'm just putting that out there. They're just not Canadians. They might have just arrived into the country. They're not yet uh, citizens, something like that. So it could be a government job. All right. So, yes, I do feel you'll get something within the net, you know, an offer at least coming in an interview in the style of an interview in the next, before the end of the month. Uh, if you have already you know, chosen what it is that you want to do and meditated on it and had enough time out and also worked out if you can go, uh, if you can get compensation. Okay. Work, yes, male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did see quite a few Indian males around you, so they're trying to take your position and they could be quite competitive not pointing the finger at any nationality. But I did get that. All right. Okay. So you might just think about what, how you want to work, where you want to work, and with whom you want to work moving forward. Hi, Flower Power. Welcome back. Is there anyone crushing on you that you're unaware about secret admirers? Flower Power, let's have a look. Okay, Kaya, most welcome. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be an upheaval with that fair pay issue. Something's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of them don't even have to pay rent because they're living with their parents, you know. It's communal living. Extended family living. Okay. So let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. All right. Flower power, let's have a look for you. Any secret admirers? I'm getting the name Mark or Marcus. Mark, first, second or last name, M initial. More of a Mark than a Michael. I'm getting Mark, 
strong. And also the message for you, you're on the mark with this. Could be somebody nearby on the beach, somebody that sees you often, somebody who sees you maybe walking a dog, you're walking a dog or they're walking a dog, somebody who you're passing quite often, frequently. I also feel like this person might have seen to you as being married. And they may or may not be married. It could be their sister. Hopefully it is. But there is a female walking with them. Mm. Or a cheater walking with their wife, one of the two, trapped in an unhappy marriage, wanting to have an affair. So I kind of feel like, yes, you could actually have a neighbour, somebody around you in the building or neighbourhood who is actually wanting to have an affair with you. Let's see what else is coming up in the way of, I feel like there's a creep element there. I'm not really liking this person, just morality-wise. They might act single, but they're not single. I feel like they talk a lot as well. And I don't think it's a good idea to get involved with them. They might even say something like, oh, I've, I'm separated you know, I'm going through a divorce, something like that, but I don't actually feel it's true. So just be aware of somebody who's not completely honest. Let's see who else is coming in for you. Flower power, somebody bigger and better. Okay, straight away I'm seeing a boat, man who lives on a canal and has a boat. Just a, a small speed boat. It's not like a big one. It's just like a little fishing boat, speed boat. It's not a dinghy, it's a larger boat, so I feel like it's white. He might like fishing or he might like just going, you know, on little cruises on his boat, wherever he might be, whether he's on the... Um, intracoastal or somewhere else or canals okay getting like a venetian venice kind of vibe with you so this person could be living in a place that kind of has a lot of canals like venice or something of that nature or has a holiday home in that particular location lock and unlock you might actually, you know, if you feel, if you like boating and boats, you might like to join a yacht club or a boating club or a sailing club or something like that. There's an attraction with this person. I feel like they could be blondish. Yeah, there we go. The helm, the wheel. They might have come out of a marriage, definitely, and had a divorce, definitely, you know, some time ago. And I feel like they're ready for something new. They could have been looking after their mother, is another indication, and she might have passed. Um, and she wants him to be happy or wanted him to be happy or have somebody loyal by his side. That's also another dog, so he could also be a dog walker as well. Look out for the dog walkers. Always look your best when you step out, by the way. That's what I'm getting to. Just look your best. Somebody might find you unconventional or eccentric in some capacity. They might be drawn to your jewellery or hair or something that you're uh, working on or with. This person could work with contracts, leases. They could be in real estate or they could actually be a lawyer or work with um, government contracts is a, a, an indication of who this person is. I feel like they're coming in. Is this person new? Yeah. Whoever it is around you that could be crushing on you, I feel like is blocking the path. So I'd try to shift your energy and think about somebody else, thinking about opening the road, opening the road with Ogun or Ganesha, Ganesh true love potential coming on in for you. So open the road for somebody new. All right, my love. Thank you, thank you. Lots of islands, okay. 
sometimes you're not going to know they're married until you actually have a conversation with them. A lot of men pretend not to be married. Just be aware of that. And, you know, I get a lot of comments, oh, do you hate men? You know, I just hate dishonest men. And uh, dusties as well come under that category. <laughs> okay. No, no, keep going, flower power, keep going. You've got um, nice gentleman coming in, nice man. I feel like he might not be from Charleston. He could be from the north, but he's moved down there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gita, how are you, my dear? Let's do a timing question for Gita. Will I get hire my new company within the end of this year? Get hired by a new company within the end of this year. Okay, Gita, let's do a timing. Jumping card, you've got the scale, so I feel it's a definite yes there for the uh, contract coming in for you. Thank you also for the donations, everyone. The bigger the donation, the more in-depth the reading. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Michi. We'll come down to you. Okay. Will I get a hire by a new company? Let's do a timing on it. Let's do October. October. You're working on contracts, working on something. You've got money around you still in October, so you don't have to worry. November, you've got definite legal justice here. I feel like you could be presented a contract in November. There's a boss stepping in in November, December. Moving forward with your life in December. So you could even move for a job as well or move house. or It could be just a job move. That could be really what it is. You might have to drive more or commute more. Um, there could be something about that that you take into consideration, the commute, etc. Thanks, Geeta. All right, let's have a look. Uh, Michi, greetings and best wishes. Messages, messages from your grandmother, A.W., passed away in 2015. Mm. What was her first name? I don't like guessing, but I'm getting Agnes and Allison. Might not be the case. Yeah, Gita, it'll come through in November, I feel, an offer, so don't worry. Just keep going. Let's have a look uh, at Michi's grandmother. Any messages? What would you like to ask her? I'm getting the message from her, the sun still shines. I'm also getting somebody around her who has kind of like a sense of humour who's saying the sun's shining out of there, you know what. <laughs> Alethea, what a beautiful name. Okay. There's a lot of connections with her and Atlantis. She's kind of done some research about Atlantis and kind of delved into that or dived down to see Atlantis in the sea. She's on some sort of like a, a fact-finding quest or a, a seeking quest. She's a very old soul. She has a lot of ancient uh, his, historical uh, records, Akashic records and information for you. That's why you're kind of drawn to things. You might end up going into Akashic records or something, studying Atlantis or doing some sort of altar for her that's kind of Atlantan style. She was very caring um, and nurturing and she's sending you a lot of love. She's remembering you as a child or you were with her more when, when you were a child in her care or with her more when you were a child. She's very happy that she's transitioned and she showing me there's, there was a lot of work like I don't know if she had to work really hard when she was younger or it was really hard or difficult or she had a lot of, there was a lot of hardships or work around her in general in her life. 
Advice. Okay, advice about what? Okay, she raised you. All right. Um, no need to blame anybody, anything. There's a lot of blamers around, like, I'm getting that sentence, that phrase about calling the kettle black or something, which means blaming somebody, I think, or comparing yourself to somebody or blaming. Let's see what, you, what else. Cherry on top for Christmas. I feel like she really liked celebrating Christmas and there were always, you know, nice things to eat and she always made a huge effort or an extra effort for Christmas. There's a cherry on top coming to you at Christmas time. I feel like it could be in the way of a bonus, a prize, a gift or money. Yeah, I feel like Christmas is a turning point for you, Michi, so I wouldn't be what, too worried about it. And access some sort of higher power and alt. I feel like there's pathways opening for you through altars and some sort of dedication to Ogun or something mystical and magical. You might even study something and publish something to do with Atlantis moving forward that could come up for you. Could be um, something that you design, Atlantean something, drawings, pictures, cards, crystals, crystals from Atlantis. That's a job that's kind of like a, an idea for you. Activated. There's a lot of different things coming on up. Jewelry. Yeah, so just hang in there. Something will shift. Something's definitely going to shift. I feel in the Scorpio season for you 100%. Yeah, 100%. Just like to thank her for coming in. She's got very high vibrational energy and she is looking, looking after you or looking sending you positive vibes from the other side she's very happy to be on the other side she found her life quite difficult and she didn't choose that life she said it was given to her I think to be with you that was the meaning of her life really quite sad but that that you know sad in the sense of emotional but I feel like that was why and how she came in to this lifetime was actually to be with you. That was her main goal that was achieved. So she's very happy with where you're at now. Yeah, so she said, don't worry about it. Things are going to sweep under the carpet. Okay, Gita. Not, she's also showing me magical carpet rides, so I don't know. I don't know if you've got to write children's books or something or some sort of magical stories about Atlantis or carpet rides, Aladdin. I don't know. Let's have a look. Thanks, Michi. A lot of suffering. Yeah, she wasn't meant to really come in, but she had to come in, I feel, to be with you. She was, uh, she's was. she got a very high vibrational karma. So she may not even come back in reincarnate. reincarnate. Oh, Aladdin was your favourite childhood movie. Okay. Yeah. She's still around. She's still sending me messages even though I'm trying to move on. But she might pop back in. So let's just keep that door open, see if she does. Okay, Gita, how are you, my dear? Do you see Dewas and me coming together in a relationship? Okay, good question. Somebody's carrying a lot of burdens. They've got a cross to bear. I'm just seeing like Jesus with the cross going up the hill. Um, I don't know. He seems to be burdened with something, open relationship. I would be very sceptical about this guy. 
and ask him what he wants. He's been dictated to by his father or some sort of boss and his mother. So if he does come back, ask him to introduce you to his parents if you haven't already met them. I feel like he's got somebody else also around him that might might be an arranged marriage or an introduced marriage. So just be aware of him and don't take his sweet words as gospel. I feel like he might just use women for open relationship because he's carrying some sort of burden and he likes to de-stress. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for that, my dear Gita. Hi, Bekita Flossia. How are you, my dear? Family arrangement with somebody else, with this other person. Yeah, don't get involved with him if he's with somebody else. Okay. Um, happy birthday, Christina. Feliz, feliz cumpleaños para ti. Is it a family arrangement, Gita, for you or for the other person? Yeah, don't get involved in all of that if it's not to do with you directly, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Hi, Christina. Hola. Any blessings coming your way, blessings, messages coming your way that you should know of? Okay. What area would you like me to delve into or person you'd like to con me to contact for you in spirit. General's not good, Christina, but we can just do a, a general spread. It's always very vague for me and I, do, I don't often get, uh, you know, I don't get the messages that I like to get in a reading when I'm doing a general. I like to get very specific channeled messages that's just the way I like to read so I like to have like a starting point to kind of go from but we can do a general if you like we can do a 12 month if you want to if you fancy that for your birthday happy birthday Okay, let's do a general 12-month spread. That can often work. Okay. Christina, Feliz, Navi Feliz Compianos. Okay. Uh, this must be the first day of Scorpio or you, the last day of Libra still in your time zone. Very, pot, very uh, strong energy on zero degrees Scorpio. So that's also very good. Last day of Libra. Okay. Last day of Libra, 29 degrees is also very potent, potent energy. Keeping on top of things, balancing things in your favor, kind of keeping a steady grip on the situation I'm getting a lot of really kind of strange messages today I also got the message Christ Almighty and why 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 do I keep getting visions of Jesus and the cross and I don't know if it's somebody in spirit trying to make like who used to say that a lot or somebody or something else okay Feeling like you want to go on a trip or a new direction, October. November, keeping out an eye out for adversity. December, more money coming your way. Feeling like there's definitely money flowing in your direction, getting a cherry on top, a bonus, a pay rise, or some sort of contemplating money and investments in December, where you're going to put your money next. January, wishes coming true. So you're going to think about something in the next three months that is going to actually come to pass in January, which I quite like. February, you've got a beautiful uh, offer from a man here, whether it's a proposal or a masculine female, a proposal, a love offer, somebody very emotional, or it could be a work offer, but something that you've been waiting for, January, February, connecting. Could be a legal action in March or another man coming towards you in March, documents, 
you might be looking at if you, your dream was to buy an apartment or a house that could be happening as well in the next six months, looking at that closely. April, it's almost like born again in April. That's what I'm feeling. New life and new energy, born again in April. May, counting your money. June, spiritual endeavours. Something mysterious around you that you're not quite sure about. July, there could be a wedding, a marriage, a celebration or some sort of contract. August, you're worried about money, but I'm, I don't feel like you need to worry about money too much because September you've got the big money here. You've got the prosperity and abundance here, Christina. So happy birthday and I hope that resonates with you. Lots of love and blessings, my dear. You're manifesting everything you're speaking. Oh, good. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Hi, Kaya. Thanks for the six ninety nine. dollars Yeah, I, I would face your fears because fears and fears and worries can keep you stuck. And as long as you're in a, a very competitive field, you're going to have a lot of pushback from companies. I do see you actually considering moving to the United States actually to get a position there. I don't know how tied you are to Canada but you might actually have a foot in the door with Google or Amazon or some, something like that, a big company. I don't know if they're opening up a shop or offices in Canada from the States, as, as in working in the States, but I feel like I'm getting a very strong link with West. Uh, San Francisco Bay Area and also Seattle for you. So I know that some Canadians do go to work in the U.S., and or get offers to work for American companies in Canada that maybe your competitors won't have the opportunity to do because they're not, not Canadian citizens. So I would go for gold. I would go for big, the, big, the big ones, the big ones, the Teslas, the big ones, big companies. I feel like you're not going to get unfairly dismissed from a big company. And I would try to face your fears and just do it. Just bite the bullet. Go for gold. You might be surprised with yourself that you actually get something that you weren't expecting. Somebody might be just like your worth, work ethic and also understand the adversities of what's going on around you right now. It's a lot of control where you are and a lot of competition. And there's a lot of back channeling. So people are kind of even paying bribes or something to get in to, I think, where you are. I do feel that you, your industry is a future industry. It's something to definitely consider staying in and even moving into a different type of arena in that industry, like an AI or something else that might be appealing to you. If you do want to work from home, you might work from home through one of these companies in the States. That's what I'm getting for you. Yeah, don't let this past experience scare you. A dismissal is often a blessing in disguise. It's, it's giving you an opportunity to open the door to something new. All right. Well, if you want to move to Dubai, then just do it. Get a, get a job in Dubai or Doha and just do it. Doha's probably got better jobs and also Saudi Arabia's on the up and up now with females being allowed to live there in compounds. It's very, very comfortable lifestyle. And they probably pay a lot. So instead of, instead of sitting and worrying, why don't you just go for it now? Hi, Brigitte. How are you? Brigitte. Oh, that's nice. 
Christian, you're talking about buying a house with your cousin and getting married. Perfect. Any other super chats? Uh, have we done a have we done a um, general collective yet for the Scorpio season? No, we haven't, have we? <laughs> mm -hmm. What are we going to do? Maybe let's do a love reading for Scorpio. Let's do a pick a card for the Scorpio season. Pick a card. Um, let's do six cards. That one flipped. Don't like flipping. Pick one, two, three, four, five, six, or you might like all of them, or you might like three of them. One through six for the general collective time stamping at 46 minutes. Michi normally does a time stamp. Thanks, Michi, in advance. Hi, Mexica. Nice to see you. Please put your question in. Doing a collective read. 46 minutes, pick a card, love reading for the Scorpio season. Hi to everybody who's joined. Thanks for likes on arrival, everybody. Truly appreciate it. See you 15 in. And we don't have 15 likes yet, so please put a like in. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six or four, five, six. Four only has one card, being adored. Let's just turn that one over, being adored. Being put on a pedestal. I'm also getting the words loving your enemy as your friend. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, Dancing, being on stage, being seen. Somebody might DM you on Instagram or some sort of platform where they see you. That's for number four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's go for number one. Past love coming back. Could he be hearing from a past love? What do they want? A fling. Okay, so that's a warning for number one. Number two, new love coming in. Number two, beautiful. New person, somebody you don't know, somebody you never met before. You might meet them online. Bumble, Hinge, Facebook, Instagram, some sort of a, there's lots and lots of different apps now for dating. So some sort of dating app you could meet them or they might ask for your phone number and then they're just going to message you or call you, okay? Getting a B initial with that person. Okay, three. Twin flame, karmic or effortless. It can go either way with a twin flame. You might feel like a friend of yours or an FWB is a twin flame, but they may or may not be. I wouldn't really put them on this uh, title simply because it's a karmic, okay? So that's number three. I would get realistic about your karmic relationships. Four is there, five is here. Meeting somebody who's actually very young for their age, youthful, into music and fashion, likes dressing up. They could be a cross-dresser. I don't know why I'm getting that. They could be um, fluid sexually. They could be younger than you they could be working in those industries you'll meet them by destiny and chance you're not going to program how you're going to meet them they're just going to pop up at some sort of party event driving i'm not sure restaurant cafe something of that nature or walking around just in and out of your workplace you might also revamp your wardrobe and attract somebody new revamp your look your wardrobe, etc. If you feel like you're not attracting enough people or enough of what you want. Number six, long distance relationship, foreign themes and distance. This person could be at a distance or foreign. They might be sending you a proposal or, or proposing to you during this Scorpio season or you might find that they're a true gem 
they're valuable to you and you feel like they're adding value to your life, just be aware of foreign people that you haven't met proposing at a distance, like in strange countries where they want to extort money from you, etc. Okay? But overall, if you are in touch with somebody long from a, at a distance or who is a foreign background to yourself, a different background to yourself, this person would potentially give you a ring this month. Thank you for that. That is the end of our Pick a Card Collective. Moving on to Mexique. So how are you, Mexique? So how are you, my dear? Past love is a lot on my mind. Will I get over this? With my current boyfriend end up in marriage. Oh, good. So you got somebody new. Sometimes you're just picking up on this, this the, the fact that this person is actually thinking about you. They could be obsessing about you. I don't know if you picked number one, if you pick a card, but they could actually be obsessing about you. Let's see why this past love is coming up. I feel like he's ready to step into something new or he is in something new and he's wondering if he's done the right thing. Because what you don't learn in one relationship, you take into another relationship and he could be repeating the same old stuff or even worse than he did with you or before you. He was too young at the time or immature. You might hear about him through the grapevine. I would sort of cut all ties with him, whether it's through mutual friends, social media. I would just block him because that's that could be why you're thinking about him is because you've got some channel open to him. And don't allow family, friends to talk about him. Fun times ahead. Communication. The man you're with is more mature in Maturity, not necessarily an age. What are they withholding and what's the wallflower about? A surprise. I feel like he could be actually giving you a surprise engagement or a surprise a concert or an event or something fun. Surprise date. Surprise... Uh, weekend, something like that, something fun. Could also be a proposal. That's you. Just keep focused on what you want. Will you end up in marriage with his current boyfriend? I feel like if you're on the same page to do with family and children, I feel like it's a yes. So I think you kind of have to work that out if you're on the same page to do with family and children past, present or future, family and children, okay? And if your families have met, etc. I feel like he does want to work on the relationship, okay? There we are. Thank you, thank you. Okay, everybody, we're going to sign off soon. We don't have any um, other super chats coming in. Last call. I'll keep it open for 30 seconds. Put your hand up. Thanks, Mexique. You're most welcome. Just want to wish you all a very beautiful week moving forward, coming into this beautiful energy of Scorpio. I feel like it's actually a, a really positive month in the sense of it being more focused in the direction of where you want to go and not where you've been. So that's the general feeling I've got for it as well. Thanks for the likes, everybody. Truly appreciate it. I'll be back very soon in a couple of days, most likely. So if you'd like to do a pre-ordered super chat and be first in line for your particular reading, you can do that as well. 
If you'd like to purchase my Oracle decks, the Coffee Cup Oracle or Amira's Love Oracle cards, they're available on Amazon worldwide and you can see the links below the videos in the show more section or go to my website amirasalon.com under the Oracle Cards tab, you'll see a tab for your particular location. All right. So I think we've, um, we've we've covered everything and everyone. Lots of love and angel blessings. And if you do get a super chat in too late before I close, then I'll do it on the next one. Ciao for now. <laughs>